Well, before I tell you that, I just found out from Diana, her sister Julie did Spine Dora the year before I did. How cool is that? Wow. So anyhow, you can see in the picture there, I was typecast because I had the long hair, I think. But uh, it was an illusion, a your basic mirror illusion. And uh, it was covered with canvas before you even, you even saw me. And um, I would have to get into this box a good 20 minutes before the show started because we didn't want to reveal the illusion of me really being the head of the spider. So I had to get into this box, and it was a small box. I'm short, so it was good, but I'd have to sit in the box like this until the show started. I just, they had, I think they had a little bench back there. So my, um, my crazy professor, MC guy, was building me up, building me up, this creature that he had um, invented. And the final moment came on, spy, don't run, he would lift off the canvas, and I'd be there, and people would, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, spy, Dora. And my eyes would open, and he would ask me, spy, Dora, how are you feeling? And I'm like, feed me. Acting 101, okay? Um, and he'd ask me another question, and I'd go, feed me. And uh, they did, with malted milk balls, ice cubes, whatever it is that they had out in their hands, they could feed me. It was one of the most humbling jobs I've had, but it was helping me pay the bills. I was paying the bills, but not only that, I was performing and getting, to, getting paid to do it, and this was in 1974, I missed 73. But uh, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do this for $2.25 an hour. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's